Hey people, welcome to the channel and in this video I'll explain how to clear your crime stat in Security Station Korea. Don't worry, it's simple and easy enough, I'll guide you through the process. If it's your first time here on the channel, do consider subscribing. If you're thinking of playing Star Citizen, actually right now you can play for free. Remember though that if you haven't created an account yet, you can follow the link there below in the description. Do use their referral code, which if you end up signing up to play beyond the free fly event where you can actually again play for free try out a bunch of different ships which you can again rent for free in game for a few more days but if eventually you end up buying a game package which i have videos about using the referral will give you a little bit more uh, extra in-game money which is always handy so this is super simple don't worry look if you committed a crime crime stat one two up until 2, you can just go to any of the white monitor stations and you can just pay for whatever crime you committed. Those are usually found next to the administrations or next to the landing pads. You find them all over the place. But if it's a crime stat 3, meaning you shot someone or you've been wrongly accused of doing such a thing, then you need to either go to jail or clear your crime stat. So as to do that in the station Korea, you need to get yourself... A uh, suit, helmet, and a uh, tiger class, a uh, little black square. Now, the advice is this. If you shot someone, just log out. When you log back in, you will be in Grim Hex, the pirate station where all criminals gather. There, in the carousel, there's a place where you see a white arrow pointing down. You follow that arrow, and there you can buy yourself a tiger claw if you haven't got one already. Helmet, Tiger Claw, you need one more thing, which is a ship which has an ejection seat. That's how I do this. In this case here, I'm in my Avenger Titan. Any other ship will do, as long as it has an ejection seat. Usually the fighters will have those. The security station is in a Crusader orbiting selling, as you see there. So what you do now is look for the, the square... Um, symbol for all space stations yeah that's gonna be over there so let's go around the orbital marker we hit that orbital orbital marker and then go to the station there you see it's security post korea now what you're done you're gonna do is just eject in space as you get close because the station will shoot at you now before it was the case that you could just hide the ship under the pad i tried that a couple times now always got blown up before i managed to do so if you manage to do that then great now you can even do this without a ship that has an ejection seat but you will have to do a lot of more space walking and it will take a lot more time the ejection seat will allow you to get a lot closer and eject much closer to the pad. As you see, trespassing, the security station will start shooting at you. Alright, so yeah, you could do it without uh, an ejection seat, but the ejection seat just makes things a bit more fun, a bit quicker. Set all of your power to shields, you're not going to be shooting anything, you just want to not blow up, get as close as you can and eject. Right? Sometimes you get more lucky than others, sometimes you're more accurate with that, that ejection. In this case, I kind of... Alright, so a little bit further away, no big deal. So what you do now is get back on track and fly towards the security station. This will take a while, let's just speed things up a little bit. You can use your gun so as to see where the security forces are, and you want to land in the the pad that has no security. If there's some security guys, just fly around and find one that hasn't got security so as to not have to shoot anyone because, I mean, you, you could start killing everyone, but it will just risk uh, ending up in jail if you get killed and now you have a lot more crime to <laughs> to spend time in. So you see that there's some security guys there on the other side. You avoid those by just choosing this the pad that has no one there. Uh, and being very careful and stealthy, you head towards the center of the station, okay? So moving carefully, avoiding anyone. You have a tunnel there to the right, so you can use that. So as to not get detected or just you know, try to avoid conflict. But once you get here, go towards the center. And this is where you have the computer that you're going to be hacking with your Tiger Claw. There on the left bottom, you see where the tiger claw goes. That's, yeah, that's where it goes. 
So you now prepare your Tiger Claw. You can have some fast key for sure, but you can also just uh, look into your inventory and just drag it and drop it in there. Right, you see the Tiger Claw there, right? And there is where you're supposed to insert it. Just select it, drag it onto your hand, and that will work too. Now all you do is insert and let it do its thing. So it's gonna scan, you know, crypto key initiated, and then it starts cracking, right? Accessing the system. You need to stay around because every once in a while you have to hit the continue. Every time it's halted, you need to hit the continue key. Don't hit the abort one, which is not what you want to do. There, you have 85 seconds, so you cannot get too far. You have to stay around. Fortunately, it's a lot faster than it used to be. So that's always good. Um, yeah, someone could show up, so you may want to have your gun ready just in case. Again, hit the continue button and just make sure that is done. It will take a while. And at, at any moment, someone can just show up because there's alerts for the other players. Usually most players don't care. I've done this three times already in the last few days and been successful so far the three times. And if you end up in jail, again, no big deal. But since this takes about 10 minutes or so, it's really not worth not trying. You know what I mean? Just it's fun. Give it a go. And you usually find some decent loot around if after clearing your crime stat, there it is, you find your account. And these are the crimes I was falsely accused of. You know, confusion there about a homicide that was never the case, that was purely self-defense, and a bunch of other misunderstandings with the justice system of Star Citizen. Just let them know that, yeah, that destruction of vehicle was not you. Prosecutional discretion, yes. I mean, all of those work the same. Just click on any of them. There's no difference. Just make sure you set the record straight about you not assaulting that security personnel guy. He came on to you first and you were just defending yourself. And once that's done, good, you're a free man. All you have to do now is just log out, and when you log back in, you will be in Grim Hex as a clean, honest citizen. Folks, that's gonna be all for now. See you in the next video. Take care.